My experience in the dental assisting program at ACC has been very intense academically. Um, I, being an older student, I have not been in school in about 30 some years and so it's been a challenge for me to read this much again, to take notes again. With the intensity of the program, um, be assured that just because it's a year-long certificate program does not mean it is not difficult. Before I actually started the program, I took a class called ACA 111 and it taught me how to become a better student. I learned how to use study habits and techniques so I applied them in a different class before I actually started the program and I make the Dean's List so I'm in the night program and that took two years so with me deciding to do the night program it was slower now with the day you go with a year and then you're done um, but at night I, was, I knew that it was going to take longer, but I knew I was going to get there. Uh, I believe the most difficult part is learning how to discipline yourself, self, um, preparing for tests. When you say, when they say you have a test, you have to know that you have a test and you have to prepare yourself. You have to read in order to know all the information that's covered within the test. Overall, it has been a really wonderful experience. Um, I haven't been in school in six years. So coming back and getting back in the group has been really difficult, but a good thing. It's, it's a challenge every day. You always have to study. You, there's no time not to study. Um, you know, you, you don't have a social life whatsoever. The teachers are very helpful, and if you ever need any help, they're there to, to help you. The tests are pretty intense, too. You really have to know your stuff. You can't just cram for one night and study. You have to be studying and reading these notes um, every single day. I wish somebody maybe would have told me how much notes we were taking, because it is a lot of notes, and you have to be really organized. I had to, like, you know, you want to go out with your friends and hang out, but you have to realize that if you don't prepare for that test for the next day, you won't know what's on it. So your friends change. I associated myself with people who were doing what I was doing in school, wanted good grades, and, you know, wanted to be successful at something. It's all about thinking about the end and not the process. I had to make a lot of changes. I have a five-year-old daughter at home. Mm -hmm. I thought maybe I was going to be able to possibly work full-time and take care of my five-year-old and come to these classes every single day, but it doesn't work out like that. I'm studying until 12 o'clock at night, um, almost every night. I was used to just having, you know, a day off here and a day off there, and that's probably been the biggest change. My advice is to take it serious. Um, I looked at it as you only get one shot, um, with that meaning you only get one chance to, it's almost like a first impression. You only get one chance to show how good you are at something. So my advice would be to take it serious and enjoy it and become good at it, it's a skill. I think the most gratifying part is actually getting to sit chair side. The first semester you're practicing and you're reading all about this stuff and you you know you do a little bit here and there on each other but when you actually sit down chair side for the first time it hits you like oh my gosh this is real like I'm really being a dental assistant this is so awesome.